house. If interest rates come back down, refinance. Yeah. But don't not buy waiting on interest rates to come down. Just refinance the mortgage if interest rates come down. This is the best time to buy a house next I literally could not disagree with this more, but let me go up against Dave Ramsey and share my perspective of this. I think it's lunacy to buy right now at, we're still in the peak of whatever this market is. We're still up, we're on, we're on the downward trend. I don't know about your market, but in my market, we're seeing every single day, price reduction, price reduction, price reduction. Sellers want yesterday's pricing and buyers want tomorrow's pricing. And it's, we're almost at a, like a standstill. Prices are going down. I'm getting offers $150,000 under ask. A year ago, I was getting 150 dollars over ask. The market has pivoted and we're not talking about this. And we're letting customers buy properties at a peak, thinking that they can just refinance in a year if the rates go down, which doesn't look like they will that fast. When the rates do go down, which is like a year or two, or maybe three, back to somewhere like, you know, manageable, stomachable, with stomachable is not a word. I'm gonna fucking use stomachable as a word here. Uh, what's your property gonna be worth? 20% less than what it was at the peak when you bought it? So what are you gonna refinance for? A hundred grand less than what you bought the property for? Like, why aren't we talking about negative equity? Why isn't anybody talking about this? Can someone explain to me why that isn't a point of conversation right now? Mortgage lenders and buyers agents, I'm so fucking sorry, but I think we're doing our customers a disservice. Selling them properties at a peak of a market at high interest rates, just telling them to refi later. I think they're gonna have negative equity and I think we're gonna put a lot of people in compromised situations as professionals. I think that's terrible fucking advice.